Welcome all, welcome in another important video. I hope you all are doing great. So this video is all about how electron JS works under the hood. So as we know that electron JS is combination of Node JS and Chromium. So in this video we will discuss about how this Node JS and Chromium works together and create a desktop application. So as we know that nowadays browsers can do much more things than it was intended to do. So it has become certainly more advanced and despite of just providing a web browser, it also gives us a lot of different other features. So we can, with the help of modern browsers, we can actually write extensions and extensions certainly add more features inside the browsers. Some more advanced features such as bookmarking and a lot of other settings which we get to see in the, in the modern browsers. The Chrome browser is one of the most widely used browsers across the globe and the most of the code base of Chrome browser is coming from open source project and its name is Chromium and that's the same code we require that's the same code we are using in Electron JS. So Chromium project started by Google to build a powerful web browser and if we compare any web browser with a desktop application we will get to see there are so many similarities between any desktop application and a browser desktop application can have multiple windows and we can relate that multiple windows with multiple tabs that we get to see inside the browsers also any desktop application requires user interface that's and that thing we can relate with the web pages that we load inside the browser tab so if we observe we'll get to see a lot of such type of similarities between browsers and the desktop application so that's the reason the whole idea came into exist as we know that since the node.js came into exist we can use javascript outside of the browser so they thought of let's make a combination of node.js which will deal with the server side or the machine level side all the operations let's say so let's say if you want to do file system operations you can do that with the help of node.js because it is a server side technology and it provides you a lot of different apis and if you want to deal with the user interface you can have chromium and that's the whole idea behind electron js so let's segregate the major part in any desktop application so if you want to create any desktop application you must have have access to system level apis let's say if you want to launch any application you cannot launch it without having permission to launch or having that installed in your system so that sort of code or that sort of functionality will be taken care by node.js if you want to create multiple windows all those will be taken care by chromium an electron js library takes care of linking between chromium and the node js so now everything is pretty much clear that whatever the user interface we are going to deal with it's all coming from chromium and whatever the system related operations let's say reading file writing into file and maybe other information you will need in your application about system you can fetch that with using node.js api so electron.js holds two different types of windows or two different types of processes so one is the main process if you just open chrome browser and if you look into your process tab or task list the pc you will get to see that chrome opens multiple processes and that all processes contributes chrome running so there are some helper processes there are some renderer processes and the main processes so that's the same logic we'll get to see inside electron js also so main process the center point of your entire application and if that crashes or if that closed your entire application will get closed so the main process is the center hub of your entire application and it will take care of how all windows are running and how much windows are running all those type of operations will be taken care of care by your main window and renderer window will take care its individual process and it is a similar thing like you open new tab in the window so whenever you so whenever you open new tab in chrome browser you will get to see that new process will get create okay so that's the same thing what we are doing inside the electron so the main process can create 
renderer process also the renderer process can create another renderer process so renderer process are nothing but the individual process and the window of your application and you can add your entire logic inside that window and you can have that running so you can create multiple renderer processes but there will be only one main process so which will take care of entire process or entire flow of your application so i think we have pretty much clear with how the chromium and node js works together what's the role of chromium and node inside electron js so this is just a complete overview we'll get more in depth information in our coming videos so i think that's it for this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye